Riku, Riku. I got up this morning in Matthew's Arm Campground and I've been down to Luray to pick up some groceries so now I'm just getting back on Skyline Drive and going to spend the next couple of hours making my way along the drive and off to Loft Mountain Campground where I'm planning on spending the night. Today's ride started at about 2 degrees. Down in Luray, it was a really, really comfortable 13. I'm talking Celsius. And now it's getting a little cooler as I get back up into altitude. But with the sun and everything, it's, it's still not a bad temperature at all to be riding. I really wasn't expecting this, so I figured it's time to pull over and do a few photos. And of course, there's a really nice lookout here as well, so uh, time for a little break. I got a note that uh, I'm taking a swig or two of water every time I stop. It may not be on film, but it's certainly happening. I was actually kind of surprised that uh, my water container, which stays on the bike, wasn't partially frozen, but I guess it must have melted for sure down in uh, Luray. Poss possibly.
I can see why so many people like this ride. Now, as a rider, I must admit the uh, the shadows just kind of drive me a little bit crazy, and the poor camera has a hard time with exposure some sometimes. But as a theater lighting designer, I do love the shadows. Reminds me of all the gobos that we get to use on stage. Good to see more people out on the road. I'm not feeling like I'm that odd at all this time of year. Of course, down here, this is not an odd time of the year to be out riding. I had a really good chat with this couple who are from Cleveland, Ohio. And they saw my Newfoundland license plate and they'd been to Newfoundland last year, up to Alaska this year. We totally agreed that, yeah, you don't put off stuff. You cannot think about stuff in the terms of five years from now or even next year. You just got to get out and do it. As long as you're healthy, you got to get out and do it. It's certainly sunny out, but it's not what you'd call warm. And definitely there's a wee bit of a wind going on. Just a wee bit. Unfortunately, I lost most of my Skyline trailer cam footage. Unless they managed to pull that off the hard drive I sent away to get fixed. Okay, so that was a couple from... From Cleveland?
There's so many really good lookouts along this ride. And they're on either side of you because you're on top of a ridge and you don't quite realize it sometimes, but uh, yep, really, really good scenic views. I don't want to stop at the mall. I do want to get off the road at a reasonable hour today. I want to get a fire going. I'm planning on cooking steak by the fire tonight. And I'm also planning to have a really good hot shower. I'm not the only one who's picking and choosing their look-offs. <laughs> quick high and a, and a wave and they're off and I'm just taking a quick break here. Then of course you're not always checking the batteries as often as you should and and they die and that's of course what happened on uh, this part of the road so next thing you know i'm at loft mountain and welcome to the happy hour lounge at loft mountain it's great to get set up in the daylight now my uh, Atta Room is a really old style Atta Room. Uh, this is not what they sell uh, from Compact Camp. And the, the wrap around the trailer itself is just a tarp or a piece of tarp. 
So uh, I'm looking at uh, upgrading that a little bit, but in the meantime, it's let's get a fire on and cook some food for goodness sake as it gets colder. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think my, uh, my cooking on the roof is a little boring. Usually the first time. The first night or two, it's definitely going to be steak and baked potato. Steak and baked potato. Uh, but, uh, sun is going down. It's windy. It's cold. I've got a... Um, Got my propane heater going on in the uh, in the outer room, and I'll keep that on when this one ready to go to bed. Barely was able to get a fire running because of the uh, the wind, but ooh, we cook stuff. It was a little tough. Yeah, parts of the potato are undercooked, but at a certain point, you just go, that's it. <clears throat> So here, I'm going to use the bear lockup for food, and uh, that includes toothpaste, so we'll do all that. And we're supposed to get uh, 50 mile per hour wind, mile per hour winds, so that's 80 kilometers. In Newfoundland, that's a good drying day. I took a short day today. I got about a six and a half hour ride tomorrow if I don't go on the Blue Ridge Parkway. I just basically uh, take the faster routes and I think I'm going to do that because I know we're going to do some of the Blue Ridge anyway. Not the most expensive cut of meat at the, uh, the cheap dollar place, the cheap uh, food land today. But still is fun. Will be. Yeah, and at least I can be in out of the uh, out of the wind to eat. Thank God. If I was tenting and the bike, I would be at the picnic table, and this food would be cold in two seconds, and I'd be frozen. So that's a bonus. I may not wash everything till tomorrow. Okay. <clears throat> well, it's, um, it's quite cold outside and very windy. Uh, we're supposed to get uh, 50 mile per hour gusts tonight. And we're supposed to go down to below freezing. Um, got a little propane heater going in the, in the outer room. I'm downloading files and they're taking forever. Uh, so we'll see how far we get with those tonight. I think it's just going to be slow with uh, the uh, laptop on, on its battery as well. Uh, 
So yeah, I might just uh, it's uh, about eight o'clock local time, almost ten o'clock my body time, and you can hear and feel that wind. I'm, I I pity the other bikers. There's about four or five other bikers here tonight, and I think all of them are uh, just intense. Uh, there's a couple of solo riders, and uh, there's a couple for sure. Uh, but it's going to be a long night, and it's going to be a cold morning. Uh, like I said I might I might close this up and just set up the uh, the bed soon. Uh, when I go to bed, I'll turn off the propane heater, of course. I can always crank it on for a little bit in the morning just to, to warm up these areas. And I think tomorrow I am heading down to the valley. I'm getting the heck off the mountain. I took all of the uh, old foam and uh, upholstery out of the uh, Mini Mate when I first got it. And uh, I'm using a, a, a single bed size air mattress uh, deep one. Uh, these days I'm quite quite liking that now I've got a uh, aluminized uh, reflective and insulated uh, foil pad that I put between the air mattress and myself which works really really well of course I do make a much better uh, door than a window great thing about having the, the solar setup and the battery and the Mini Mate. I not only can charge everything up, but I can use the uh, 12 volt air pump to to get that air mattress up really, really fast. I think under 30 seconds. So getting that done and and just getting everything ready to get to bed. Okay, it's got potential to be a pretty miserable night. It's going to uh, go down to freezing or less, and uh, high winds tonight. So I've got a, a rated at 7 degrees Celsius sleeping bag inside a 0 degrees rated Celsius sleeping bag. And I'm multi-layered, the long john's on. Uh, jogging pants and uh, a, uh, a hoodie and a uh, and a hat let's keep me um, let's, let's keep my head warm anyway it still does have potential to be a pretty miserable night it's going to be a lot of wind uh, fingers crossed that it doesn't get too much windier and that it, it uh, calms down by winter winter by, by uh, daybreak um, anyway uh, the adventure continues. We'll see what tomorrow morning brings. Good night. <clears throat> well, it's about 7.30 in the morning. And, uh, slept well about 1 o'clock. And, uh, and then went back to sleep again until, until 5. I can see my breath. <laughs> I did uh, turn the propane heater on at 5, and I'm just wondering if it's out. That's interesting. Um, I was warm enough. I uh, didn't die. Now the tough part's going to be actually getting stuff packed up and getting off the mountain. I'm not going to worry about breakfast here. Well, uh, or even the coffee. No, just want to get packed up and, and down into some lower temperatures. But that's the plan. Mm. Here's still on. A little bit warmer out here. Yeah, that's not too bad in the...
It's cool. I forgot to uh, video the frost on the seat. Anyway, the sun came up and it got much brighter in the next hour. And I uh, went over to the the uh, concession uh, and uh, main facilities here and got a chance to freshen up. I'd gotten a good shower there yesterday afternoon when I got in. Uh, took me about uh, dollars 75 and quarters but that's okay so we're now going to try to get off and down onto the interstate and get down to uh, our destination as quickly as we can today but it's going to be a long haul I know that so here we go thank you for watching this one and uh, subscribe and the next one will be coming soon